Choosing your content management system is one of the most daunting decisions that you'll ever face during any website or app revamp project. Because a content management system is something that you and your team will use pretty much on a daily basis to manage your website, your online shop, and most of the time your entire digital marketing strategy. So you really need to have the right tool for the job. I've been advising clients for over 15 years on selecting and building digital solutions around content management system. And here are the four things that you need to consider when making this decision. Let's do it. Hey, welcome to this new edition of Digital Blitz, your short brief on everything UX, tech and compliance. I'm Sylvain Reiter and I'm here to help you succeed in digital by delivering better experiences for your team and your customers. So a content management system is there to help you publish and manage all your digital assets, but it has a wider impact on your entire team and many other departments in your company. And over the years, I've seen nightmare projects where, for example, the information security team imposes SharePoint to the marketing team just because it's company policy. But it ends up hindering all the conversions or the social impact that the team is trying to implement. And I've seen the opposite where the marketing team make decisions that are not compliant with the IT stack, so it ends up wasting a lot of time and money and the project never succeeds. This is why it should always be a collaborative decision. You always need to consider those four things when making a decision about your next content management system. First of all, it's the editor's experience for the users who are going to use it on a daily basis. Um, most content management system will have all the features that you're expecting around scheduling, publishing, uh, workflow for governance. There's little differentiator, but you have to make it easy to build pages with a strong templating engine and finding the balance between having a consistent branding, but still allowing you flexibility to build specific layout or adding forms, for example. The second point is the InfoSec requirement around where is it going to be hosted or what type of personal data is it going to hold? Can you easily transfer or export the data? And all of those questions will have an impact on the type of solution that you select, whether it's going to be open source and self-hosted or a headless cloud-based solution. Then you need to think about the extensibility. Um, what is your roadmap looking like? Are you going to just have publishing the content on a front end or are you going to need more advanced integration with the CRM or custom back office systems? And finally is the total cost of ownership. Because some systems will have a license fee, but you also need to consider the ongoing maintenance with an agency team or your own internal resources. So plan that for the next three to five years. So as we've seen, selecting a CMS is not an easy decision. And this is why it's really important that you think about all those points. I recommend you prepare a list of all the must-have and you collaborate with your agency or the experts to test different system before committing to a specific tool. And from experience, we usually recommend open source frameworks uh, such as Drupal because it allows for great customization. And it's the recommended platform for most UK or US government platform as it does not lock you into a specific ecosystem and you can better control the hosting and all the security settings and even extend it with custom modules. For a project with lower infosec requirement or less customization needs, Cloud-based options such as Contentful or ContentStack will usually be enough as long as you integrate it properly with the front end. That's it for today. I hope you found this useful. And yeah, if you're considering revamping your content management system or need to upgrade your current CMS, leave me some comments below or get in touch. You can watch more videos about digital optimization on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to keep learning with me and grow your career in digital. 
Until next time, stay safe and see you soon.